We're here at the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Competition at the Gingelhoff Auditorium and Concordia Ho College. Um, first up will be the Over the Hill Drill Team. The Over the Over Hill Drill Team is from Omaha, Nebraska. They've got between 30 to 50 members, ranging in age 27 to 55 years old. The group was organized five seasons ago during the Native Omaha celebration. They've traveled to many states and received many trophies and awards for their participation in events. The Over Hill Drill Team, excuse me, the Over Hill Drill Team is a group of adults ranging in ages 27 to 35, men and women, whose motto is marching with pride. Letting peers, community, and youth know that just because a person is older, you can still entertain, perform, and march. We appreciate the Rondo Committee inviting our group for our second tour and entertaining and performing for St. Paul's community. This is the Over the Hill Drill Team. Over the Hill Drill Team has just come in, and the show's looking pretty good so far, just beginning their first act. A very spirited group. They've been together for five seasons now, with approximately 30 to 50 members, with the age range between 27 and 55. The Over the Hill Drill Team. Nebraska's over the hill drill team. Drill team doing a little butterfly uh, right now. to the show right now as the Over the Hill Drill Team is showing their experience and putting their steps together. They're being very well received. As you can hear, the audience is very into the show performing at a high pace right now. But very wisely not to overexert yourself in the first act, showing their experience for sure.
over the head drill team. Yeah. Yeah, again, that was the over the head drill team. Drum and pour, and they are quite the crowd pleaser, quite the crowd pleaser. I think this is their second time here in St. Paul for the Rondo Days Drill Team competition. to the crowd right now. Seems to be a crowd favorite. done by the over the hill drill team again a big big pleaser uh, crowd pleaser here at the rondo days competition as they begin their third act right now, halfway through the act
Ronaldo's really into it. Over the heels, real team. Never seen that one before. Never seen that one. Definitely one of the groups who had uh, a lot of originality, I believe. Next up will be the Falcons drill team from St. Paul. Minnesota hometown talent. It looks like the Falcons drill team is a drum corps team also. They're from St. Paul, Minnesota again, and it's about 30 youths right. ages, eight years old to 22 years old. And um, actually in 1995, 1996, uh, they were part of the Winter Carnival Parade as one actually won a novelty award during that year. 1994, Ronald's uh, Day's drill team, they took first place. 1993, Ronald Day's third place. In 1996, Ronald Day drill team, first place. Also 1995, Bud Billiken, which I think is actually a parade out of the Chicago area, they took second place uh, during that parade. They've appeared every year at the Minnesota State Fair, and the group travels throughout Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, uh, and this all happens during the entire year. The group has actually been in existence for about six years. It's under the direction of Lynn Graham Washington. Drum major is Dimitri Gurley, and they've participated in Rondo Day since 1992. I think they're a well-loved group as the fans are really responding on their interest. The Falcons drill team, definitely one of the crowd favorites. From St. Paul, Minnesota, of course, your hometown's in effect right here on SPNN. Team. 
Director Lynn Washington from St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, this group was definitely spirited. One of the most spirited so far. Over the hill was great. But now you're looking at the Falcons drill team. Corps. Representing St. Paul, Minnesota. Go B for those who are in the combo music. Yeah. <laughs> much energy, much energy for this group here. They are most definitely in step. years of age. This group is really showing and using their youth to their advantage, giving much energy right now, much energy as they stop their first stack. We move into the second act from the Falcons drill team, St. Paul, Minnesota on SPNA. This group is doing an excellent job of keeping their energy level up, um, never missing a beat. They are a great, great uh, group to watch. They're having a lot of fun out there, and the crowd is really enjoying them. Choreography, dynamics, precision. 
five of the members are taking the middle center stage right now as the others sit back and watch. A breakdown in the show, five minutes down before them. to be in control of the Falcons drill team. Right now the Falcons drill team are doing a drum solo. The band leader is doing his thing right now, cutting it up, center stage. The percussion in of it very nice. Now more members joining Actually, in. Actually, they can get loud. Still much energy. If we get yeah, our direction, we cut our so cool. heads. So 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 Choreography, 
15 points is the maximum for that. Dynamics, a maximum of 10 points. Precision, maximum of 10 points for that. Sound, 10 points. Originality, a maximum of 10 points. Performance, 20 points. Sportsmanship, 15 points. Uh, they had to have actually been in the parade. That's a score of a maximum of 10 points with a po total, excuse me, possible score of 100 points. This was an exciting, exciting group to watch. Up next from the city of Kansas City, Missouri, will be the Marching Cougars drill team under the direction of Brian Wilson. Again, this is the Marching Cougars drill team under the direction of Brian Wilson. Okay, we've also right, seen the Over the Hill right. drill team, the Falcons next drill team. Up next is the Marching Cougars drill team from Kansas City, Missouri. They are um, a part of the competition. They are actually under the direction of Brian Wilson. And this is the Marching Cougars drill team. All the way from Kansas City, Missouri. All the way from Kansas City, Missouri. The Marching Cougars come into a well round. Of applause here. Directed by Brian Wilson. The Marching Cougars drill team takes center stage. Here they come.
maybe just a little bit less experienced than the first two in the Rondo Day Drill Team Competition 97. They're entitled the Marching Cougars Drill Team. You're watching them right here on SPNN. It's the St. Paul Neighborhood Network, Channel 35. Right now we have a drum solo by one of the drummers and the little kid right here. <laughs> really getting his groove on right now. He's got a breakdown with the drummer. Stepping off into a spin. it all the way to a hush and then bringing it back up right now. Are running it as director Brian Wilson. Thank you. 
again for the Cougars. He seems to be their leader, especially in dancing. Okay, now we've got a little, a little shorty here. One of the younger females is taking center stage now. The crowd is seems to be enjoying her performance right now. You're watching the Marty Cougars Drill Team, directed by Brian Wilson, coming out of Kansas City, Missouri. He's competing in this year's 1997 Marty Drill Team competition. Drill Team, as we have coming up next, the Half Pipes Drill Team is an inner city youth team, directed by Ellen Marlowe. Another crowd favorite, St. Paul, Minnesota. Half Pipes coming up next. As we're winding down the final performances of the Marching Cougars Drill Team. I think overall this is one of the youngest uh, groups out of the three performers so far. Most of the members are pretty young. with one more final applause for the Martin Cougars drill team. 1997 Rondo right. drill team competition. Noise, coming all the way from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City. Another wonderful group. They're a young group. I think we'll see them again with more experience next year. Coming up next is the Half Pints drill team, Inner City Youth League, directed by Ellen Barlow right, from St. Paul, Minnesota. And we're gonna keep it rolling, you guys. This is the third team in the competition. The Inner City Youth League. They've been here two times already. This, this third Inner City year. Youth League's mission is to build stronger communities through youth empowerment leadership and through community go. collaboration. The, the mission is accomplished through providing programs to which promote and develop leadership qualities, cultural awareness, educational opportunities, communication skills, community development, and social responsibility. Actually, it looks like the Isorettes will be the uh, next group up. Yeah, I it's guess. been a change. Uh, the Ice Arrest will be okay, up next. Okay, then. The no Inner City Youth League is not going to come up next. It will be the Ice Arrets. The Ice Arrets, and they are out of Des Moines, Iowa, under the direction of Marie L. Fisher. It will be the Ice Arrets Drum and Drill Corps out of Des Moines, Iowa. Yes, and indeed. 
the number of participants and the age group for this group that is 70 young women and men approximately between the ages of 7 to 21 years. There's actually a group with uh, 7 to 10 members in one group and uh, actually they'll be um, up next as opposed yeah, to... I suggest there's some uh, very colorful outfits here wearing black and gold and white today mm -hmm. and uh, wearing shorts, most of them. So yeah. a little different. Maybe it'll give them a little more freedom. See what kind of energy they bring. Right. They be in there. Sorry. These young women and men all over the community of Des Moines, Iowa. Whoa. 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 Did they just come in next to us? Yes, they yeah. did. Yes, they did. And the rest of the group came out the crowd. This group was started in 1980 by parents wanting to give their youth something different to do. They travel around the U.S. all summer long to many events, and they have won many awards, including second place at Rondo Days in 1995. This is their third year participating in Rondo Days. This is actually their 17th year in being in existence. They've traveled to Denver, Atlanta, Georgia, Louisiana, Michigan, Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, and to Canada. The parents helped raise money for them to take their trips, and uh, they actually do travel with the youth. They'll be traveling to Atlanta, Georgia, excuse me, Atlanta, Georgia, in August for the Shriners National Convention. This is the Isoret Drama and Drill Corps from Des Moines, Iowa. Looks like the age range of uh, maybe four or five. And they are taking center stage right now for the Ice and Reds. Remember, the Ice and Reds come all the way from Des Moines, Iowa to participate in this year's 1997 Rondo Day Real Team Competition. Representing Des Moines, Iowa. Wearing the black, gold, and white. Drummers all have on white shorts. And again, the uh, Isoret Drum and Drill Corps is actually split into, gr into two groups, 7 to 10-year-olds and then 11 to 21-year-olds. Another exciting group to watch. Again, the judges are going to have a difficult time making their decision for this competition. The categories for the competition are choreography, dynamics, precision, sound, originality, performance, sportsmanship, and they actually had to have been part of today's parade. This is your 1997 Ronald Day Drill Team competition, and right now we're watching the Isoret Drum and Drill Corps out of Des Moines, Iowa. Take a break right now. As one of the drummers is staring his his group down right now, shouting out as they perform. Ice Rex from Des Moines, Iowa. A nice drum roll from the Ice Rex right now. As I think we're about to see something spectacular. This group looks like they're ready to explode. One of the other things that I've noticed about this competition is that while there are drill teams from other cities and states, the crowd actually is giving their full support to each and every one of the uh, drill teams that has so far come out. You know, we always have our hometown favorites, but they are actually really supporting each and every one of these drill teams. Spread the floor. The Isoretts have now spread the floor. It's a very large group. Actually, it's two groups. Uh, 7 to 10, 8 grade, and 11 to 21. Compiled 
lineup of 70 young women and men, approximately. From Des Moines, Iowa. Ice arrest, drum, real quick. And again, this is another group supported by their community, their parents. Oh, yeah, they're popping now. The ice arrests are getting into their act. And, you know, this actually sends out such a positive message for these kids to come here to travel. And uh, so far, they've traveled to Denver, Atlanta, Georgia, Louisiana, Michigan, Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, and also to Canada with a planned trip for Atlanta, Georgia in August to the uh, Shriners National Convention. Drum and Drill Corps, beautiful, beautiful black, gold, and white uniforms. This group is split into two groups, ages 7 to 10 for the first group and 11 to 21 for the second group, with approximately 70 young women and men in this drill competition. center stage right now as they march the middle the ice arrests are really at their peak right now as they head into the final finale of their act you know we were talking earlier about drill team competitions and uh, coming from indiana our, our drill team competitions tend to be a little bit different there's much more dance in this particular competition much more choreography a lot more drumming um, so this is a, is a bit of a change for me, but uh, a really, really great thing to watch and, and really a lot of fun from all of these groups so far. I would have to agree because uh, I really like the drummers. The drummers are really putting a lot of action into it. They really have their, like you said, the choreography is great for this group. Ice Arrest, representing Des Moines, Iowa.
just announced that the group has two minutes left as the ice was run in Trail Core. Director Mary Lee Fisher from Des Moines, Iowa. I think they came. This group comprises of a lot of females. <laughs> A lot of females in this uh, drill team core, and, and that's pretty unusual in itself. Although these young ladies have definitely put on a great show. And of course, this team has now been given their two-minute uh, warning call, so they will be pretty much wrapping it up uh, in, a, in another minute or so. This is the ICRS Drum and Drill Corps from Des Moines, Iowa, under the direction of Mary L. Fisher. Drum and Drill Corps, Des Moines, Iowa, in the direction of Mary L. Fisher. An excellent, excellent, excellent drill team. The crowd is really, really loving them. So far, this competition has been exciting, really, really exciting to watch. Yes, I'm, it has. I'm, I'm happy not to be a judge. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely going to be a tough one. Oh, yeah. The Isarettes, oh, yeah. they just stopped there at Cole, which was different, and All walked right, up. Mm -hmm. What do you think mm -hmm. about that? Um, well, it was different. Like I said, it is totally different anyway uh, from the drill team competitions that I'm used to seeing. You know, coming from Indiana, they're much more uh, uh, military-like. True. So this is more dance, a lot more choreography. That's so right. this is a different, a different uh, vibe for me totally. The next group up, phase two. Up next is a phase two phase drill, two drill team. team. Um, this is under the direction of Vivian Faye Treadwell. This is also a St. Paul, Minnesota team. This is phase two drill team. Brand new group. community doing good. The grace will be their success. The group has come out, they've come out in green numbers, number 44, green and black numbers. They are in Canis, it seems like they've taken over one side of the auditorium. First of all, Phase 2 is a group who's come in with an unusual uh, outfits. Uh, not the customary <laughs> outfits, uh, wearing no, shorts. definitely does not look like military attire to me. True, that's no, true. That uh, wearing not. green and black, Phase 2. And this is under the direction, excuse me, of Vivian Faye Treadwell. Um, phase 2 is actually, this is in their first year of existence. Their goal is to reach out to young people and to give them something that they can look forward to every year growth and stability of our community. This is Phase 2 Drill Team out of St. Paul, hometown town, St. Paul, Minnesota, um, with about, uh, looks like some 20 members in this group in awe, between the ages of five, to five years old to about 19 years of age. Again, this is their first year for this Rondo Days competition. Um, so far, looking pretty good. Again, another good are so good. Uh, they slowed it down right now, the beat, and it's really uh, getting into their act. I think we'll see some good action from this group, being that they're from Minnesota. Definitely in step. Breaking off a little old school beat uh, from uh, Milk. 
that, that's Mary J. Audio Blige. Two. Audio 2 also. No, that's, that's Mary J. Blige. That's Mary J. Blige? That was Mary J. Okay. Blige. <laughs> New music from Mary J. Blige <laughs> from Phase 2, the drill team. The audience seems to appreciate that. Again, this is their first time in the competition. Uh, not as big of a group as we've uh, seen so far, um, but so far uh, a very energetic group. And trying a lot of different uh, approaches to this uh, drill team competition. Trying to be very creative. We'll see how the judges uh, judge that. Right. Sometimes that can work in your favor, sometimes it can work against you. Right, them. right. And again, what the judges are looking for, they're looking for aspects of choreography, dynamics, precision, uh, sound, originality, performance, sportsmanship, and finally, they had to have actually been in today's 1997 Rondo Days parade. And uh, they could get a possible score of 100 for this competition today. I think the rug will, the tie will have an effect on them dancing. It seems like this middle lineup right here is taking advantage of people's feet sometimes. It's like, yeah, they're putting the this kind of off on some yeah. of the movements, but uh, I think they'll adjust to that as the competition goes further. Well, and oddly enough, too, um, this group has actually got their backs to the judges and actually performed for much of their their competition with their backs to the judges and I'm actually trying to, I'm actually wondering what, how that's going to affect their score also. You know, we can't see any expressions on their faces. Um, you know, it's really part, I, part of what I think is the competition is seeing the excitement on the, the, the faces of these competitors and we're not able to see that because they've had their backs to the judges the entire time now. Um, that's a valid point. I agree. Uh, the group is maybe a little less experienced and playing to the audience and to the judges. They'll learn that in time. And not really taking full advantage of the size of the floor that they're working with either. Um, they're a smaller group, so they actually could be spread out a bit more for my personal taste. I think they could be spread out a little bit more too. What they're playing to is the newer zone. I see they're playing a lot of this song four page letter right now is playing and that's getting the audience involved by playing some of the newer songs the audience is uh I'm really seven. digging them come out and their, their outfits seem to be a little more military well not so much military I keep I hate to keep using that word but you know their their uniforms were a little bit different they're, these kids are out here in you know a little more casual attire yeah. um, still doing an excellent job though like a large hesitation gap in between the segments that they do. Right, and I think that's going to probably work against them too. It seems like it's taking them a, a bit of time to uh, actually prepare for whatever their next segment is. Um, part of what I've seen today is that there's a continual, you know, groove of music, a continual march.
time between their their actual competition, their actual uh, dance movements, marching may may cost them um, some points with regards to the competitions. We'll just have to see what the judges think of this. Today's drill team competition, 1997, at the Gengelhoff Auditorium. Broadcast live on SPNN. St. Paul Neighborhood Network, that's 214 B. St. Paul, This team has been interesting to watch. Um, I don't know what my feelings really are with regards to, the, to their, their actual uh, movements. They are energetic. I guess my, my, my thought is that there's a lot of lapse time between their actual dance steps to their actual show. Team out of St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Up next will be City Pride Drill Team. Again, another drill team out of St. Paul, Minnesota, under the direction of Rhonda Houston. This the next team up will be City Pride Drill Team. Phase two drill team has just gotten their two-minute warning, so they will be wrapping up their segment of the competition shortly. they've gotten their two-minute warning, <clears throat> which means they should be wrapping up their competition shortly, their segment of the competition shortly. This is the Phase 2 drill team from St. Paul under the direction of Vivian Faye Treadwell. Again, a lot, of, a lot of stopping in this competition with regards to this team. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out for them, if it's going to actually work in their favor, work against them. Um, a different look again for this particular drill team. This is their first year competition, so we'll see what the judges have to say later down the line. Brand new group. Phase two, a drill team coming out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Once again, like we uh, announced, this is a new group. So uh, experimenting is something that you do when you're beginning things. So don't be too harsh to judge them so quick. No. Hopefully the judges take that into consideration. Right. And, and, and being a new group, I'm sure next year we'll probably see some different things from them. I'm sure they're working out some bugs. Oh, so, so again, this was a different type of group to look at. Um, they were the, I believe, the fifth group we've seen so far. Next up is the City Pride Drill Team. This is another group out of St. Paul, Minnesota, under the direction of Rhonda Houston. Right. Now the background on the group, they have about 20 kids to them. They range in the ages from 8 to 13. Now, they started out as a uh, workshop, actually, for Rondo Days. They actually started out as a workshop for Rondo Days. They performed at the State City Fair. Pride City Pride Drill Team. Let's give it up. City Pride Drill Team coming up next team. in the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Competition on SPNN. Right. And this group has actually been in existence for about four years. A little more experience uh, there than our last real team that we just saw. So um, we'll see what's going to happen for them again. What the judges are looking for are uh, choreography, dynamics, precision, sound, originality, um, performance, sportsmanship, and of course, each and every drill team had to have participated in today's uh, Ronald Day's parade. So, with, and they'll actually get a, a total possible score of 100 points 
again, um, this is uh, a drill team that's been existing for about four years. They're out of St. Paul, so this is St. Paul talent. Um, but like I said earlier, the crowd has actually given a lot of love and support to each and every one of the drill teams, whether they've been from the local area or not, which is a really, really good thing to see. And actually, this is now, they're coming to the floor. This is, again, a smaller group of people, um, ranging in uh, ages from 8 to 13 years old with about 20 kids in this group. Yeah, it seems to be something that I noticed right away. They have very young drummers. Most of the other drummers were older, a little bit taller. These are very short and uh, young drummers. We'll see if, they, if the, uh, their lack of experience, how that works for them, right. or will their energy uh, take place for that. And again, this group started out as the workshop uh, for Rondo Avenue Incorporated and have actually performed at the State Fair, Rondo Day, Juneteenth, uh, and the Heritage Day Parade. Again, this is the City Pride Drill Team out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Beginning their act with a lot of uh, moving around the City Pride Drill Team out of St. Paul, Minnesota, wearing black and white outfits. Doing a little solo now without the, the drums is the rest of the members as they get their steps together. Right, and actually, this is a much younger group. Um, these kids are between the ages of 8 to 13 years old. Um, a younger group, but hopefully just as exciting of a group to watch as the other group that we've seen so far today. Maybe a little of their shyness is uh, showing right now. Uh, no drum beats right now. I'm sure that's in their choreography. Give it up. City Pride. They'll be, ten, they'll be penalized, excuse me, 10 points from their final score. There will be a point of exit mark on the field. They must exit from the same direction that they entered the field. There's no excessive dancing allowed, although we have seen quite a bit of dancing from all of the teams today, such as pumping on the ground, exotic body movements, or actually any gang hand signs. judge's discretion. The maximum amount of points deducted will actually be no more than 15 points for that. The judges base their scoring on choreography again, dynamics, choreography being dance steps and routines, dynamics, the variation of contrast between the volume of different sounds, precision, marching maneuvers designed to change the direction of the entire drill team, sound projection, and that's a clarity in the drum cadence, music and voice, originality, the ability of doing something different from the other teams and performance, which is the overall performance of the group. The judges will also observe for sportsmanship and conduct towards other teams. 
Any team found fighting or taunting another team will automatically be disqualified and be reprimanded. The punishment can be severe as suspending the organization from future Rondo Day activities, which is, you know, a very harsh, harsh uh, uh, punishment, but one that we, you know, have to ad actually adhere to. That's right. Right now, City Pride, once again, doing a, a solo action without the drum beats. Uh, we'll see how the judges judge that. You are now listening to the 1997 Rondo Day's Drill Team competition on SPNN. Drill teams are performing today at the Gango Hall Center, July 19th, 1997. You know, part of their their uh, scoring actually depends on, <clears throat> excuse me, the clarity in the drum cadence, music, and voice. And this has been a very quiet, quiet group. So I'm imagining that this is not working in their favor to be so quiet. I mean, they they do have their dance steps somewhat uh, down, but again, that drum cadence and music and voice are a big part of, of their their scoring. stay together and learn from this. They're very, very young, as we've already pointed out. And with time, if they grow together, they can become one of the best groups right here in the Minnesota area. I believe that, that their choreographer maybe should have let them uh, get a little more action into their, into their act. With them being young, you want to see younger people really put a lot of emphasis on their energy. Right. They're, they're not a very energetic team to watch um, so, so far. Uh, they haven't been. You know, we've seen teams that have really, really brought the crowd to their feet. And so far, this group has not um, really come across as a very energetic, very, very um, alive group so far. Um, and, and from the reactions of the crowd, there's more milling about, uh, a lot more talking. It's, they're really not keeping this crowd's attention either. to see this team do is, is for next year's competition really concentrate more on a more sharp kind of movements um, something that's going to actually wake the crowd up maybe some kind of crowd participation um, even their cadences need to be a little bit more you know energetic a little bit more driving than what they've been doing right now right now it is kind of coming to a standstill you are watching SPNN the St. Paul Neighborhood Network once again, the Rondo Drill Team competition will be broadcasted Sunday. That's this Sunday at 3.30 p.m. right here on your network, SP. And actually, they, they did not wait for their two-minute warning. They're now leaving the floor. That was City Pride Drill Team uh, out of St. Paul, Minnesota again. Um, you know, a little bit different group, a smaller group, a younger group. Well, um, they did try, though. They did try. You know, oh, yeah. Spire, we will give Spire's them trying to make something happen. We'll, right. We'll give them What's A for that? effort. But when you think about this group in comparison to the other groups that we saw, right. they weren't as sharp. They that weren't energy, as energetic as those level. groups. And I think that may have really cost them the competition. Yeah. And Once the projection. Again, I'd like to reiterate on the facts that this is a very, very young group. We will see them again. Just give them a little time. They'll come around. Right well, what I was going to say was the projection of the whole entire group, you know, wasn't that great. I mean, but they did, you know, they did put forth effort. 
A for effort. My son. The next group coming up is the Faith Step is Drill Team. We got the half pints. Oh, excuse me. The half pints drill team. Okay. Okay, looks like we will league. have the half pints drill team up next. This is the half pints drill team, Inner City Youth League. Um, they're also out of St. Paul, Minnesota, under the direction of Ellen Barlow and Faris Hurd. This is the half pints drill team, Inner City Youth League. Once again, you're at the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Competition. Looks like this possibly could be a favorite of the crowd, um, getting a lot of cheering, a lot of applause for this group as they step onto the floor. Um, this group is actually here to build stronger communities through youth empowerment, again, leadership, through community collaboration. Their mission is accomplished through providing programs which promote and develop leadership qualities, cultural awareness, educational opportunities, communication skills, communi community development, social responsibility, and economic independence in a drug, alcohol, and violence-free environment. The ICYL, Inner City Youth League, was born from a pressing need in the community due to youth unrest caused by what was interpreted as a social and educational crisis involving these youth, their families, and friends. In the beginning, ICYL used the cultural arts and community program as a way to reach, engage, and posit positively motivate the young people. The next generation of young people posed a new and larger challenge. While they continue to use many of the same programs, they've added new ones that would be of interest and help benefit the youth of today. Those programs include African dance, African history, arts and craft, employment readiness, Kwanzaa club, movie night, music, and others. This group's actually been in existence since 1968. Mm. Did not know that. <laughs> well, what you see here, Right off the bat, this group is not using live drums. They're using a the tape of a uh, very popular song right now out of a group that comes out of Chicago. So, we're seeing a lot of action from this group right here. Okay, and, and back to more of the more energetic uh, dancing. Um, and looks like this is going to be a crowd pleaser also. This half pints dance squad consists of about 24 young girls and boys ranging in age from 7 to 13. They perform hip-hop dance routines and drill routines. This group has performed hip-hop and drill routines for the Selby uh, Days Celebration, the Mall of America, Peace Jam, Minnesota History Center, Ramsey Action Program, Head Start, the Bethany Community Center, St. Thomas University, the University of Minnesota, and Morris, and these are just a few of the places that they performed in. The group has also become very popular and very much in demand. They, their performance schedule is uh, actually through September of this year, so they look like they're going to be out and about for a while now. Again, a lot more energy than the last group we saw. A lot more dance routine. Although the difference is, of course, as you said, Otis, is that they're using actually tracked music as opposed to the live uh, drum cadences that we've seen in the other groups. Right, right. Wearing white and red today is... Uh... I'm sorry. Half pints. The half pints wearing white and red and wearing more of the tennis tennis skirt type of style outfit. Which again is different. We have seen a lot of different uh outfits today. Right. More maybe just to get a looser feel. Right, probably and this is actually again a more casual look. Um but you know, this group is very energetic. Uh this group is uh, appears to be quite the crowd pleaser. They've got the crowd's attention. Movements are quite, quite, w just wonderful to watch. And they all are stuck. These kids are energetic. Looks like they're happy to be out there. Very precise, very sharp movements. And I think this is what this crowd has come to look forward to in their drill team competition. Once again, another familiar 
One of the newer songs from a national recording artist, Aaliyah. Uh, this one's entitled One in a Million. Once again, they're not using live drums, using tracks that's already been laid down on tape. That's different within itself. Right. But you seems to be the crowd favorite, half pint. Right. And you know, and I don't know whether that's going to affect their scores at all, um, you know, with regards to, to what the judges are looking for. But again, this team is energetic. It's a crowd pleaser. They're um, getting a lot of, lot of favorable um, smiles and looks from their crowd. And I think that's what they're actually, uh, what most of the teams are going for anyway in the end. Again, this is the Half Pints Drill Team Inner City Youth League under the direction of Ellen Barlow and Faris Hurd, and they're out of St. Paul, Minnesota. You know, when you talk about being precise, they are on point. They are on point. Even the little girls up front, like the little, little girls mm -hmm, up front. Mm -hmm. And as the beat chains up, it's like they, they have it. Right. They did come here to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they came here to win. They came here to win, right. Using a lot of high energy music is really gonna help them out. Right, right. They did a, a pretty good job in picking uh, their, their music for this competition today. It's pretty hard not to be energetic when you've got house music going in the background. <laughs> That's true. like we lost one of our competitors of the group, um, but that's okay. It has not slowed the group down at any point. You know, sometimes the thing of it is, is that these kids are so young sometimes that this competition can be a bit overwhelming for them. But you know, my hat really goes off to each and every one of them because it takes a lot to learn these uh, 10 minutes worth of dance steps that are constantly changing. You know, I don't know uh, many adults that could do the same thing. That's true. Plenty, plenty of the new beats. Mm -hmm. And that helps uh, the crowd anyway. I don't know what effect that has on judges, but the crowd is definitely responding to the music selection. Yes, they are. And again, I think they keep their energy level up using a more house flavor uh, uh, music, you know, more upbeat music. That's keeping these competitors on their toes, jumping high, uh, dance steps are going quite well for them. Lines are straight, um, again, the judges have a lot to look forward to with this group, I think. Okay, another song, another song that this crowd is really loving. So yeah. I don't know who their musical director is, but this person has done an excellent, excellent job of securing, uh, for at least the crowd anyway, their attention. And working well to the change of style of uh, beat. But this song is a little bit, not as fast as other songs. They're very poised, right. very poised group. A younger age group. They're ranging in age from 7 to 13, about 24 young girls and boys. So, um, you know, again, it's a lot to come out here and perform for all of these people. Concentrate on a 10 minute routine. You know, this is an excellent, excellent job that these kids are doing out here today. And again, win or lose, they're all winners. And that floor I mentioned earlier, <laughs> not affecting them a bit, man. Not at all. Up 
next in the competition will be the Southside Dream Team. Southside Dream Team. Currently, we are watching, though, the Half Pint Dream Team, Inner City Youth League out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Just to go over again what the judges actually are looking for, they're looking uh, for choreography with dance steps and routines, dynamics, the variation of contrast between the volume of different sounds, precision, marching maneuvers designed to change the direction of the entire drill team, sound projection, clarity and the drum cadence, music and voice. We just heard a two minute warning for the uh, drill team. They're also looking for originality, the ability of doing something different from the other team, and performance overall. They've gotten their two minute warning, so this uh, team will actually be pretty much wrapping up in the next minute or so. Well, they've used popular songs throughout their entire competition. Right now they're using a uh, the theme song from the, the Motion Picture Men in Black, which is obviously a crowd favorite. Now they're going back into another house kind of a uh, uh, flavor for them. Again, another high energy song. Wrapping it up for today is the Half Pint Drill Team Inner City Youth League out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Once again, you're watching the 1997 Rondo Days Real Team Competition right here on STNN. That's the St. Paul Neighborhood Network, Channel 35. Your host for tonight, Otis the Entertaining Artist, Vivian Moore, and other co-host, Paris Tyler. We're enjoying the show right now, being entertained by the half fight. <laughs> Everybody's enjoying this show. Oh, yeah. They get ready to wrap uh, this Paris up. Paris is enjoying it so much. He's <laughs> oh, yes. paying attention I'm, to us. You know, I'm loving this show. You guys are doing a great job. I'm in and out every now and then. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can tell you. They've got one minute left. Um, they pretty much should be wrapping it up now. We don't want them to get a penalty for being out on the floor after their two-minute warning. Uh, that penalty could cost them. They're out. Okay. They're out. They are With out. The hand. That yes. was nice. That was nice. That was wonderful. As they that run off the stage here. The half pipe right. definitely getting a well rounded right, cross right. here. Half pipe drill team, inner city youth league. And the crowd is really into it. The crowd was really, really getting into it. Up next is the South Side Dream Team. And they are actually from Minneapolis, Minnesota, under the direction of Carolee Pemberton. This is the Southside Green Team. Once again, you're tuned to the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Competition. Judges judging by various types of talent that the people have. And as they walk out on the floor, they're in orange and white. This is the Southside Dream Team from Minneapolis, Minnesota. under the direction of Carolee Pemberton. The Southside Dream Team uh, address organization is 3939 Chicago Avenue. They are between uh, the ages group here is 20 through 50 as far as the group age range. And they are participating uh, from six years old to <laughs> infinity, I guess, there. <laughs> Wearing orange and white tonight, the Southside Drill Team, Dream Team, excuse me, Right, they've been actually act. together for one year and four months. So again, this is another fairly young team. Um, Mrs. Ms. Carolee is the founder of the Southside Dream Team. And the Southside Dream Team was started on March 11th of 1996. And uh, is actually consisted of dancers and has been, uh, well, has actually been in existence again for just one year a little over one year. So one year group. This group has, is composed of 20 to 50 uh, participants. A very large group and half of the group has not even stepped on the stage right. yet. You'll so see the rest of them in a second here. Okay, I looked down to see um, if they even had drums, so. Yeah, I they have drums, they I do. see the drums okay. down, so. So this is obviously just half of the team on the floor now. 
Um, again, you know, sometimes these time lapses can work against them, and I don't know if they're prepared or not. This could possibly be a penalty for the Southside Dream Team. Actually, it depends. If the music selection, uh, which they prepared, is not played, I don't think that would be a penalty against oh, okay. them. I don't know if, if it's their fault or the production engineer's fault. There we go. Yeah, it was an engineering problem. Now they begin.
Golf Center. Yeah. All right. That was the Southside Dream yeah. Team from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And actually, I think they were more of an uh, exhibition team, so they probably will not be scored today. Up okay. next is the Faith Steppers Drill Team and Drum Line, and they are actually from Waterloo, Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa. <laughs> I heard of a DJ from Waterloo, <laughs> Iowa. That's on uh, KMOJ Radio. Okay. You ever heard about him? <laughs> okay. And they're actually under the direction of Kay Jordan. So this team will actually be a part of the competition. This is the Faith Steppers Drill Team from Waterloo, Iowa. The Faith Steppers Drill Team. That's right. As they take the stand right now. This group actually consists of about 28 to 30 members, ranging in age from 10 to 18 years of age. And uh, on May 30th of this year, they actually won their first recognition, the Youth Award in the annual My Waterloo Days Parade. The Faith Steppers was organized in 1995 as a recreational project of Christian Fellowship Baptist Church in Waterloo, Iowa. The only requirement for, re for the membership is that members must be active in some church. This organization, this organization is steppers. actually right, have been um, in, in existence for two years. This is the Faith Steppers' second year at Rondo Day, and they'll enter tonight's competition with the 1997 show theme Stomp. They intend to stomp on Satan, the enemy, with high energy dance, percussion, and flag work. And with a surprise dramatization of the age-old struggle excuse me, between good and evil, their message is Satan. is Reverend Daniel T. Phillips. This is the Faith Steppers drill team and drum line from Waterloo, Iowa. And this drill team returns back to our traditional uh, drum beat style. Correct. Which uh, will maybe play in their favor uh, because we haven't seen it in a minute. So the judge will be a little refreshed to mm -hmm. see these groups. And they also have flags with them, uh, some of the females I see. Young drummers, a few young drummers. Uh, what's the age group? Again, they're ages 10 to 18 years of age. And also, this this is the first time during tonight's competition that we'll actually see some theme for, for one of the competitions. This theme for this group is Stomp, which of course you know is um, one of the new Christian songs out by Kirk Franklin. So um, I look really forward to seeing what they're going to have for us tonight. Oh, okay. And again, their message is Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. This is the Faith Steppers Drill Team and Drumline from Waterloo, Iowa, under the direction of Kay Jordan. And as you can see, Right. <laughs> right, which I think is the representation of Satan. So oh, that's true, that's true.
a lot of drum selection. From that's this right, team. that's right. And this is actually a dramatization of the age old struggle between good and evil with the uh, person in black, obviously Satan, and the, uh, the kids in white are obviously part of uh, the saved and those fighting against Satan. More of a purity right. in the white, right? One mistake there, he dropped the flag. That could cost him a point. Well, actually, I think that's part of, of, of their routine with Satan not being able to touch whatever they're doing. All right, I think you're right. As he heads off in disgust now. So you're seeing a lot of action and acting in, in it as he's, <laughs> he's kind of shying away from the camera right now. Mm -hmm. Doing a great acting job here. Stepper's Real Team from Waterloo, Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa. 
Once again, up next is the First Step Drill Team. The First Step Director, we're talking about Major Tops. And the man is very talented. We've seen him before. Once again, you're at the 1997 Rondo Days Drill Team Competition. 